Tuesday, May 1st, 2018, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So I want to look at the markets as usual. Uh, yesterday was an interesting day. Uh, we saw precious metals get hit early on in the day and then rebound quite well. Stock markets uh, were strong early in the day and they came off. So uh, mining, mining sector did fairly well, at least some of the mining stocks that I own. And also I like to uh, look at uh, a video I saw about EOS, which is one of my favorite uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, one of my favorite uh, blockchain technologies, if you want to call it that. And I'll put uh, also a, a video up in the cards by someone called Clay Albright. He's got just under a thousand subscribers, but I think he best describes what's gonna happen to EOS. And I, I tend to agree with him, and I'll go over his video briefly, but uh, I highly recommend it that you watch it. It's 23 minutes long, and it's entitled EOS, The New Paradigm. I'll also put, it down, put a link down in the description. Well, the markets this morning, it's just before 8.30, um, AM here in London. Uh, what have we got? Well, we're, we're, we're seeing precious metals dip back down. Uh, I per personally think we're near a bottom here of this uh, leg down we've had in gold and silver. But we're still in a consolidation and we're right in the bottom of the consolidation phase. So I, I expect precious metals to rebound fairly well from here. Uh, right now, gold is at 13.1080, down about four. Range has been 13.10 uh, to 13.16.70. Silver is 16.25, down seven. Uh, range has been 16.23 to 16.36. The Dow this morning hasn't managed to go higher, uh, that much higher. We're only up 11, 24.180. Looking at the charts, it still doesn't look very good to me. Uh, We've been consolidating since the top at the end of January. And if anything, um, looking at the chart, it seems to every time we go, we're making like lower lows and lower highs. So I think we're very close maybe to getting another leg down uh, in the uh, stock market. Uh, so the S&P is up four at 26.52, NASDAQ, up nominally, uh, NASDAQ 100 future up 10. Uh, currency wise, the dollar remains strong. I also think the dollar might have uh, topped in the short term. Are we gonna see a big leg down? I'm not sure. We could stay in the trading range in the dollar. Uh, I know we've broken through 91 in the dollar index. But again, I wanna stress that uh, the dollar is <laughs> moving up here not because it's a strong currency, but just because it's it, it's turn to go up and, and it's the turn of the other currencies like the euro, uh, the pound and the yen to weaken a bit. Uh, that's that, And they're all fiat currencies anyway. But uh, anyway, the pound is uh, down 15 pips at 137.46. I still have like 136.50 uh, as a key support below for the pound. If we break that, this for my UK viewers, I think the pound could go a lot lower. So we need to keep an eye on that level. Uh, Euro 120.56 down 20 pips, not about 0.2%. And the dollar is up 0.12% uh, against the yen at 109.46. So um, EOS. Yeah, EOS uh, is one of my... Uh, well, the core of my investments now in cryptocurrencies. Uh, the inv my investments in cryptocurrencies are n nowhere close to what I have in precious metals, uh, but I think it's a good uh, mix to have. Since uh, the fall of last year, I've, start I've, I'm, I've started being more involved and uh, I've picked the ones that I, I like. I've got some that I received from doing sponsored videos, but. The reason I got into EOS is because the guy behind it, Dan Larimer, had a track record with Steemit and BitShares. And basically, EOS is going to be like a, just like Steemit is a 
social media website uh, website or ecosystem on the blockchain, EOS is going to be uh, like the blockchain for any application, be it social media, whatever. And the reason why I think it's interesting and has a future is because they've been able to uh, solve the problem of scalability, of how many transactions you can do per second, uh, safety, and yeah, and their uh, ICO is started last year and is going to go until the end of this month. It ends in the 1st of June, I think, and uh, it's gone, o gone on for 12 months or about a year, and a lot of people seem to be a bit miffed about that or concerned but the reason uh, he's done that um then larimer and the people be uh, block one and eos is to try to decentralize uh, the whole uh, ecosystem network eos uh, in order to make it more uh, democratic so to speak and uh instead of having a an ico for a, a month where big whales would come in and dominate, they've spread it out. And it's helped people to understand more what it's about. And the other confusing thing is that it was start, it's on the ICO, is on the uh, Ethereum ERC-20 platform. It is right now a, a ERC-20 token, but it will uh, transform into an EOS token uh, on the 2nd of June. And that's why you have to register with them uh, and uh, with EOS. If you want to find out about it, go on their website, EOS.io. And they'll take a snapshot of your position on that day. Uh, I think it's midnight, June 1st, Lon London time. I'm not sure if, you, if it's uh, June 1st or June 2nd, you need to look at it. And then you will have to save your pri public key and private key and uh, your ERC-20 uh, 20 tokens will be useless or they won't be able, be able, they will be inactive, but you will get the new EOS tokens. So, and EOS uh, has been for the last few days, I mean, right now it's at 1660 and the price I don't think is important. Well, it, yeah, it is and it isn't, but for example, uh, I started buying it when it was less than 10, I bought it more than 10. I bought it recently when it went down to four and five. I bought it recently now when it was about 14, even 18. And it's be, even been as high as 23. And right now though, it's at 1660. Uh, but if you look at World Coin Index, EOS has been at the top there uh, in terms of volume for the last few days. Usually you've got Bitcoin and Ethereum. And so EOS is really, coming to the fore, in my opinion. And this video uh, by uh, Clay Albright explains it very well. And I'll, I'll read here the description of his video. He says, EOS may have social media, may save social media from censorship, centralization. In fact, it may save the financial system, our governments and our freedom as well. The timing could not be more perfect. It just gets me excited. That's what Clay Albright thinks. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as that, but I guess there is potential for that, of course. And one thing that he says that's very interesting is uh, about the airdrops, uh, because EOS has been, aside from the money they've raised through the ICO, there's a lot of venture capital money going into EOS, like almost a billion dollars. And these venture capitals are actually helping people, uh, programmers who want to build application on the EOS platform. And for example, I've just received uh, recently uh, tokens from EOS DAC, and that's not EOS, it's EOS DAC. They're going to be block uh, builders on the EOS blockchain. And uh, I received the other day uh, one to one ratio EOS DAC tokens. I'm also supposed to receive uh, soon Everypedia tokens which is supposed to be uh, an encyclopedia that uh, on the blockchain that will challenge Wikipedia. And they're going to be built on the uh, EOS blockchain. And one thing that uh, Clay Albright says is that uh, 
EOS is going to be different uh, in terms of uh, investing and trading than, for example, Bitcoin or Litecoin, because you, you don't you won't want or even Ethereum, you won't want to really sell uh, your EOS and trade it because let's say you sold it uh, a couple of days ago at, or lot yesterday, actually at 23. And then now uh, someone, uh, one, a group of developers announces a new uh, project and they say, we're going to give you uh, one to one our tokens in relation to EOS. We're going to build our application on the EOS, EOS blockchain and we're going to do it. Uh, uh, we're going to give you drop the uh, coins tomorrow. Uh, well, and let's say yesterday you had 2,000 EOS and now you only have 1,000. You're only going to get 1,000 of those new tokens. So that's the incentive there. You could uh, be getting all these free tokens. Um, and they are worth something because they, they've, they are being financed by the venture capital firms that are some that are have pledged to put hundreds of millions if not bill, a billion into the EOS uh, project so what he's saying is well basically the, the analogy is that if you bought one ethereum a token a few years ago when it came out uh, and kept it uh, the analogy is that you'd be getting tokens from all the different uh, ICOs you've had, but you didn't because they don't really uh, work like this. Uh, so that's a very interesting uh, point that Clay ma makes. Um, the other point he makes is that uh, the token distribution will end at the end of this month, beginning of June, and then there's not going to be any more tokens distributed. And <laughs> I think it's going to be about a billion uh, tokens distributed and even, and it started uh, below a dollar and we're up here now. So there's been demand even while it's been distributed every day. You have a new distribution period, but from June onwards, there's not going to be any more new uh, tokens issued. So with <laughs> the demand is going to probably increase. And the supply is not going to be there. So that's going to also help the price. And the other point he makes is that uh, uh, in order for uh, EOS is going to be a place where all these applications will be able to store data. Not all data will be stored forever. But according to Dan Larimer, a lot of the data is going to be stored forever on the blockchain. And to store the data, uh, you will need to have... Uh, EOS tokens. You're going to have to uh, have the tokens to work on the blockchain, uh, on the EOS blockchain. So what that will do, uh, all the data that's going to be stored forever, for example, will uh, withdraw EOS tokens uh, from the ecosystem forever as well. So uh, very interesting. Uh, I know a lot of you are not into the cryptocurrencies. Um, but this is more than just a cryptocurrency. This is like uh, the blockchain uh, 3.0. That's what Clay calls it. It's going to be like the, uh, it's going to be huge for the internet, in my opinion. It's what uh, the internet is going to run uh, run on. And you don't have to know the, I mean, developers know about this. I don't know how it works exactly, but I, I think it's a good opportunity. So that's what I wanted to talk about. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Make sure you click on the little red uh, bell to get notified of my new videos. And you can also follow me on Steemit, DTube, and on Twitter. I'll talk to you later. Bye.